good morning everyone. Um, today is the 24th of July and we are on our way to Home Firth to do the Home Moss Fell Race. The Home Moss is a AL Fell Race. It's about 18 miles long I think uh, with a lot of ascent. I can't remember the exact figures, but it's, it's a lot. It's, I did it last year and, and it was my first AL race. And it's, uh, it certainly lives up to, uh, to its billing. It's um, got very little flat on it. Uh, you, you're basically climbing or descending. Um, you saw going from top of the valley to bottom and then back up on the side. And, um, so it starts at Cricket Club, and then it's got road for about half a mile, um, and then you drop down this very, very steep descent, um, and then you got a bit of you get to bottom, go over the bridge, go up and climb, uh, and then you've got sort of a undulating um, run for a, for a bit, and then you climb up to Low Moss. There you drop down to Crowden, I think, and then climb up the other side, and then from there you drop down right down to bottom um, over the stream, and then you've got a, like a vertical climb. In um, four tenths of a mile, enter the roundabout and take the second exit onto Bradford Road. Pulling yourself up by the uh, vegetation that's in front of your face. Um, yeah, it's really steep. Um, climb up to Lado Rocks and then again you've got a sort of an undulating um, run along a path um, and then you climb up to Black Hill uh, and then from there you go back to Moss and then you, you, you do the reverse of the start. Take the second and exit then, now. Um, yeah, the start is about half a mile further down than the uh, sorry, the finish is about half a mile further down than the start. You actually finish back at the cricket club. Um, so yeah, so it confused me last year because I got to the uh, where we started thinking that's where you'd finished and I had uh, another half a mile to run. Uh, so yeah, so that was uh, fun. But no, it's looking forward to it. It's uh, going to be a nice day by the looks of it. Um, not too hot. In um, one quarter mile, enter the so roundabout yeah, so no, and take the second all, uh, exit onto Bradford Road. Good for me. Um, I, don't, I don't like it too hot. Um, so yeah, so we'll see how my ankle gets on. Uh, obviously, it, it's take only a week since exit now. I sprayed it at Pennine 39. Um, I went for the short run Wednesday evening. Um, and it was sort of niggling a bit, but it was fine. Um, and then I went to park on yesterday at Dewsbury, uh, test it on the hills, because it was on the hills on Wednesday where it hurt. Um, so I wanted to test it on the hills at Dewsbury um, without it being sort of too sort of technical terrain. Um, and it was absolutely fine, I didn't even notice it. Um, so hopefully it'll be all right today. I've gone for um, Innovate Park claws because they've not got quite as big as a stack height as my North Face. Um, so I'm hoping that will help give me a bit more stability. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I ran this last year in, in fell shoes and it were, it were, yeah, Caution. It were hard going because it's such a long race. Well, for a fell race anyway. And the ground was rock hard and the fell shoes don't give you much um, cushioning, so it's, uh, I've gone for park cars in the open and sort of they give me the best of both worlds, they give me enough rip for the bogs and stuff, but um, they provide the cushioning that I'm gonna, my feet are going to need so they don't feel battered at the end of it. Um, so yeah, so looking forward to it, see you all soon. So here we are at the uh, 
finishing field. We just got his uh, kit checked and race number. Um, so yeah, it's nice and nice and cool. Uh, it's a nice breeze. Um, it's looking a bit cloudy, a bit murky, but hopefully the rain will hold off. It is forecast to rain this afternoon, but hopefully we'll be done by then. So yeah, so looking at my time from last year, I did it in four hours and four minutes. Um, I don't think I'll be anywhere near that this year. Um, like I say with my uncle, I just want to take it nice and steady and, and just enjoy the day out. So, see you all in a bit. Forty-eight. Yeah, yeah. Fifty-four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Thank you. I like this were test for the ankle. Uh, thankfully, come through with flying colours. So much for the rain all enough. So that's where I've just come down. Uh, got this undulating path now to our moss. Uh, I've just my ankle's not feeling it today. Um, just not liking the uh, uneven terrain. So I've uh, called it a day. Um, it's just not worth 
risking it in long term. Um, so yeah, so I just got to let you all know and um, I don't think I've got any races uh, now until the end of August, so it gives it time to heal. Um, so I just go out and get some decent training now and, and yeah, let's get some strength and exercises done on my ankle. Um, it, I would have been fine to carry on. Um, like I say, it's just it's just sore, um, and you know with everything I've got planned and booked in for the next few months, it's just not worth risking um, being out injured for a length of time. So um, yeah, it's a shame, but you know, live to fight another day. See you in a bit. So yeah, so this is the start of the last climb that you face on the. Oh, Moscow race. Um, obviously, I'm doing it today on fresher legs, so I'm having to pull out, but it should give you an idea of just how uh, steep it is. As you can see, the uh, weather started to close in. Um, and just make out the top of Old Moss Tower. <sighs> Certainly going to be a long day out for the uh, runners out there. Yeah, luckily with the uh, rain that we had yesterday and Friday, it's actually uh, compact to the ground down a little bit. When I ran this course last year, the, coming up this climb, it was uh, the ground was like sand and it was just slipping from beneath you, so you couldn't get any purchase. And yeah, you were just sliding back as you were trying to push off. So at least it's a little bit more compact for everyone today. Although the rocks are. Uh, Really slippery. It's just with how damp they are, um, and that's what we're making my ankle uh, unhappy on the on the on the pass there. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? It's, uh, it's been dry for weeks and weeks and weeks, and then we have a couple of days of rain, and it just makes the surface really, really slippery. Um, yeah, it's just weird, but such is life. You can see how much the uh, weather's turned in the last five or ten minutes. You can't even barely see your moss tower at all now, no matter the top of it. And the whole valley that's over towards where the race is headed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I definitely uh, made the right decision today. Um, yeah, it's uh, ankle sore now. Um, it's just not liking the uh, the uneven terrain. Um, I've got a, an event next weekend, uh, two of the twenty-eight, um, for put on by Great Alvin. I'm uh, running that 
to uh, capture the footage for uh, Adam from Great Owl, Great Owl Running uh, to hopefully sort of showcase the course um, and show everyone how good it is. It's the first year that it's on so um, yeah, it should be a good event. Uh, looking forward to that. So I just made it to the top of the last climb. Um, yeah, the weather's awful now. Uh, you can't see the low bus at all now. You can barely see the uh, yeah, it's just really windy and driving rain. Uh, not pleasant, but all fun of a British summer.